Well, we hope you enjoyed the weather the last couple of days because unless you're a slug, you are. Uh, I, mean, I used to love <laughs> soccer in the rain when I was a kid, but now as an adult, I'm not such a big a fan. Now, what are we going to see, Adam? Yeah, not the most ideal. I know some people who just love to look outside at the rain, too, and this is going to be your type of day. I see a diehard over here without a, an umbrella, of course, but without a rain jacket, too, without any sort of rain gear at all. So if you are heading outdoors and you want to protect yourself, make sure that you are grabbing it. And then later on this evening, the Mariners back in town. We have the roof that's more likely than not going to be closed and it's going to be chillier too. temperatures starting off in the low 50s and then eventually dropping into the upper 40s by the end of the game. It's going to start up at 640, so 7 p.m. a little after that time. Here's a look at what's happening this weekend. We have the Windermere Cup and also boating season starting up here as we head into the weekend. We expect that also to be quite a rainy day. Now we'll expect a chance of showers throughout the morning and on into the afternoon. There could be a few more sun breaks. It's just going to depend on our convergence zone because that's going to set up and it's going to be quite powerful and we'll see that anywhere between Seattle and Everett as we head into that time and I'm going to show you that here on future radar pretty quickly. Weekend forecast we continue on from Saturday into Sunday Mother's Day. You got a few showers expected to be around won't be quite as many of them as what we're expecting Saturday, but check out the high temperatures mid to lower 50s each and every day, so we're not in store for any sort of warm up anytime soon. Wet and gloomy conditions here looking at Payne Field and Everett a very wet afternoon in Westport. Good afternoon to you and also seeing some pretty gloomy conditions looking damp as we look uh, a little farther east across the Cascades at Sun Mountain Lodge. Right now looking at Lumen Field, home of the Sounders who just won that championship last night. 46 with the south wind coming in at 6 miles per hour. Temperatures down by quite a bit by 10 to 15 degrees yesterday. So we saw them up by 10 to 15 degrees yesterday. Now we're down as we go on here into this afternoon. Down by four in Oak Harbor, six in Forks. Again, we didn't see as many of the war, as much of the warm up over into those parts as we had more clouds there. And as we sit this afternoon, uh, Hardly uh, really no 50 showing up as of right now. 49 in Hoquiam sitting right now at 48 in Renson, 46 in Everett and getting closer to 48 over in Bellingham. So the rain, it's widespread. It is a, a very soggy day. You can see some heavier showers moving north here along I-5 getting closer to Bellingham. And you can see as we go farther south, more the same too. Seeing here across Snohomish County shoreline, also seeing some of that rain coming down quite a, at a heavy pace. And then as you go farther south into the east, Guess what? We expect to see more of that too across Hood Canal, the Kitsap Peninsula, and over more of the Olympic Peninsula too. Here's future radar today. We'll see this start to move northward. So by about 7, 8 p.m., a lot of this actually begins to head northward, and then there will be a slight break. So this will head on north, and then we'll see the next system coming in, and that's going to help to increase the rain chances late into the morning on Friday. Here we are at 11, and then we go into the afternoon, and we see more of this. You can tell, though, as we go into the afternoon, the majority of the action will be south of Seattle. That's where we'll keep more of the widespread chances of rain. More off and off as you go farther towards the north, and then we'll We'll see some heavier pockets to go along with that, but let's go ahead and fast forward into Friday night into Saturday where you can tell right there. We're going to have that convergence zone, which will be a little more stronger this time. We'll see that start to set up between Seattle and Everett, and we'll get some heavier downpours with that, which will help to really pick up some of the rainfall amounts we're expecting, which are going to exceed maybe an inch, maybe even closer to Everett. We're talking about more than two inches of rain here as we go throughout the next two to three days. 57 rainy and breezy today, quite rainy tomorrow as well. A few more showers around for us heading into Mother's Day. Rain to start off next work week, but it looks like we'll dry out by next Wednesday.